Now that we've imported images, let's talk about finding images in other folders and also navigating back to folders when we are lost. So inside of On One Photo Raw, the majority of our browsing and navigating is going to be done over here on the left side of our screen. Now, let's first talk about these icons to the left. These are going to be buttons that we can use to quickly jump into different areas on our computer. For example, the default browse location or the location that opens up every time you open up Photo Raw is your pictures folder. So I can click on this camera icon and it will take me into my pictures folder on my computer. If I'm not sure what an icon does, I can just hover over that icon and it will tell me where it will take me. To the right of those icons, we have these three tabs and we're only going to focus on this browse tab here. The browse tab is a very important tab for when we're looking through different folders in various drives on our computer. So this browse tab houses your local drives such as your internal hard drive, your SD card, any external drives you have plugged into your computer, but it also houses your cloud storage. So if you have Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive, you can connect to those and view those files directly from right here. Now in the local drives, this is going to again show any drives that you have plugged in or installed on your computer. To navigate through them, you can use these different arrows and you can access any of the different subfolders or folders in those drives. Or if you want to browse in this middle section using thumbnails, you can do that as well. So I can select this local drive here, just my computer's drive, or I can go into my SD card that I have plugged in and I can navigate through the contents directly from the thumbnail viewer. So let's just select a folder. We can double click it that will access the folder. And then I can view the contents of these folders right here. Now, one thing when it comes to viewing contents of folders is keeping track of where you're at. And an easy way to keep track of where you're at is to take a look up here up top to this breadcrumb menu. This is just going to show you your breadcrumbs, basically what folders you've gone into and where you're at on your drive. So I can see I'm in my untitled SD card in my DSIM folder inside the 100 MS DCF folder. So I can go back to that DCIM just by clicking up here. So it's an easy way to go back or to just make sure you're in the correct folder. So let's navigate back to that test folder that we created in the first lesson and let's navigate to it using our local drives pane over here. So in our local drives, let's open up my computer's hard drive with this arrow. I know it lives in my downloads folder. So we can go through my downloads here and these are by alphabetical order. So it was import tests, so it's right there. So I can click on this and it will open up that folder and now we have those different images that we imported. 